Hey guys, James with TFB TV here at E1 Nuremberg. I'm with my buddy Sam at the Hunt Group. We're talking about this new, it's the SCX-12, but this is like a SCAR type. It's a shotgun, it's a 12 gauge shotgun, but it gives you the SCAR look and some features. Tell me everything about it. Hello everyone, here's our SCX-12. It's 12 gauge shotgun. It's similar to the SCAR, you can say. It looks like, like the SCAR, but it's 12 gauge. It comes with the 47 centimeter barrel, like 18 and a half inches. The lower receiver is from synthetic plastic, the upper and the handguard is from the aluminum. And there is picnary options too, to the right side, left and down side. So you can put scopes, lasers, lights, whatever you want. It comes with the two round, five round and 10 round magazines with different seri code colors like FTE, OD green, black, and whatever you want, it's up to your choice. What about the magazine compatibility? Does this share a magazine pattern with other it's guns? This is standard Turkish shotgun magazines. So every Turkish shotgun magazine you can use with this gun. With two round magazine capacity, five round and 10 rounds. And it's also compatible with the Ram round 20 round magazine too. Show me how it works. Uh, sure, here is the magazine, like this, from here. All right, so it's got a bolt release similar to like the SCAR. The gas operated, gas yes. operated system. On gas this operated semi-auto. Yes, so. yes, absolutely. So the safety system is from the bolt side for the left and uh, right handers for bolt. Yeah, ambidextrous. Ambidextrous, absolutely. Sure, and, it, and that bolt release looks exactly like, say, an AR-15 does. AR-15 system, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. So the buttstock is also adjustable. You can extend, you can shorten it up to your choice. It's not a folding buttstock no, like this guy. It, it looks like it. But Absolutely. But we are, uh, the folding stock is also in production and it will be out very soon. Like you can fold on the left side. Talk to me about the muzzle device. That's not a real suppressor. It's the uh, fake suppressor, you can say, uh -huh. just to have a, look, a good look for the barrel. Uh -huh. Yes, what about the, fake chokes? Suppressors. the chokes is one, three, and five number chokes you can put with, uh, with this gun. And the chokes are similar to the Benelli shotguns. Oh, Benelli. Benelli chokes, chokes. Okay. yeah, absolutely. So it's I compatible with it. I see. And the rail sections, looks like you can remove some of them there yes. on the side? The right one, left one, and the below one, you can remove it up to your choice because in some countries the picketing rails are not allowed, restricted, so that's right. why we'll put uh, uh, separately so you can remove according to your choice, according to the choice of the country, so we can remove it easily. But this one is come uh, with the molding process of this. Yeah, so talk to me about that. What's the construction of the upper and the lower receiver of the shotgun? The complete upper receiver is from the aluminum, T6 aluminum we are using, 7075 or 7076. The lower receiver is from the synthetic plastic. It's coming from the molding process. So that's it. The barrel we are constructing is from 4140 steel and drilled barrel. So you can use uh, all the low gram images like 24 gram, 28 gram, 30 gram, and also to the magnum 50 grams too. Three okay. inch you can use, but it's the maximum largest round you can use with this gun. It's three and two and a half you can also use, but we recommend most probably you can use the three inches. Now the most important question, how much does it cost? It's around about 260 to $70. These are not available in the United States, of course, but- This is our new product. We are planning to export to the United States, but it's uh, under the ATF uh, process right now. But uh, I think we got the approval from the ATF for this one, and very shortly it will be available in the U.S. market. Sure, and I assume it's probably going to cost more than 200 by the time uh, it gets to the U.S. manufacturing costs, yeah, as yeah. I am telling you, but it yeah. will be much more uh, when you're going to import and taxes and uh, each and everything. Well, Sam, thank you so much you know, for being on the program. So Guys, thank you for watching. Stay tuned. We're bringing you more EWA.